So, scene one in Luke's triptych leaves us with some questions as we make our final preparation for Christmas. How is it that we, in these next hours, can look upon the ordinary places of our lives as holy places, places where sacred encounters can occur? And how can we listen deeply, carefully, for those are voices that amidst the soundscape of our frenzied lives remind us that God, our God has found favor with us. And so we come to today's gospel. It's the second of the three scenes that center on Mary. The visit by Mary to Elizabeth. It builds upon the first. <clears throat> Again, set in everyday life, this simple but profound human encounter between two women. And these two can stand for each of us, each one of us, whatever our gender, whatever our situation in life may be. Now, my friend John August Swanson has not yet portrayed this visit of Mary to a relative Elizabeth, but I suspect that if he did, he would capture this visitation as a human event, one of many that take place between two people as they come together, as they embrace. For the kind of in-depth meeting that takes place between these two women, is something that we all can experience, each one of us. For people knock on the door of our homes and metaphorically on the door of our lives all the time. Some of these knocks may come from family members, others from friends, some may be complete strangers, some may even be homeless or seeking refuge, could not that knock on the door be a holy encounter? Mary took the initiative by coming to Elizabeth, and Mary, we read, simply greeted her. Elizabeth then did a really remarkable thing. She showed the gift of discernment. She heard Mary's greeting and looked upon Mary with a fully open heart. She was able to see that a work of God was taking place within her. Thus she was able to explain in those words that are so familiar, blessed are you among women. So what is it like to have an encounter with someone where we are fully present to them? where we see them, hear them, receive them into our hearts, as Elizabeth was to Mary. Where do we see them as the beloved of God? We say it in our baptismal promises. How does it go? We'll seek and serve all persons, seeing them as Christ. In preparing to truly receive the child who comes at Christmas, do we not need to see Christ in those we meet day by day? How then does this work? Perhaps it's quite simple after all. Is this not what Mary and Elizabeth showed to us? Mary took initiative. She came. She knocked at that door. Elizabeth, with openness of heart, was fully present to the one who was at the door. <coughs> one of my teachers and friends is Father Rick. Gantz, a Jesuit priest, he passed along in a recent posting of practice he learned from a fellow Jesuit, Brother Alphonse uh, Rodriguez, who lived some three centuries ago. It seemed that Brother, Brother Rodriguez was for decades the portrait, the keeper of the door at the Jesuit community on the island of Mallorca. He was the person entrusted to answer the door when people came and knocked there. He cultivated in himself the practice of assuming that each knock was Christ at the door. By pretending that it was Christ knocking, when he opened the door to whomever was there, their first sight was of Brother Alphonse. His face was that of a man who expected Christ setting in the person who knocked. 
Father Rick goes on to observe, it's a profound thing to be looked at in this way by the one who greets you. So what would it be like in these final hours of Advent to practice this same habit with those who will knock at our door? What would it be like just once, just twice, to receive that person as though we were receiving Jesus Christ. Father Rick goes on to observe, it's a profound thing to be looked at in this way by someone who greets you. So then, how do we make our final preparation for Christmas? What do we yet need to do? I think we can make our preparation as we see the everyday arena of our lives as sacred geography, as the place where God is present. And we do so as we follow the examples of Mary taking initiative and Elizabeth being a receptive presence, and to do that in each of our daily encounters. And then perhaps we'll be able to join Mary in singing that song, that Magnificat, her revolutionary hymn of praise and proclamation about the larger truth concerning this one who is coming into the world, born among us, born to set our fractured world aright. And we ourselves will have entered then finally, at last, into that third scene, that central scene in Luke's triptych, the place where we meet the Christ of Christmas, the child who is born for us and for all humankind to set us free, free from the power of sin and death. The Advent hymn puts it like this. So cleanse be every heart from sin. Make straight the way for God within. Let every heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest